Let's start at the beginning, the Page of Swords. This is kind of the essence of what's going on. It can mean children. If it does mean children, that is an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. It does cross the home position, so it may involve, some change may involve, be involved with a child. But um, the pages can be messages. And the swords are kind of cutting, so they can be presented or news of a problem, news of some difficulty, um, a young person's problem that is being uh, looked at. So it can be your child or uh, a child of, of someone you know, um, but it does look like some kind of risky behavior um, or a problem or difficulty within, um, feels like a child or uh, someone younger than you. So younger than, um, I say 20, usually Paige presents um, from, from birth to about 20. So it looks like something that the family is dealing with. This is the family card. This is the um, emotional wellness card. So if that is what's crossing you, it looks like it feels like the family is coming together or a group of people are coming together to really help resolve this problem um, for a young person. But it does look like it's in the forefront of your mind sweet Sagittarius. So it doesn't necessarily have to be your child. Um, um, it could be a younger sibling, someone that you are worried about and is in the forefront of your mind or making poor choices, someone making poor choices. So it looks like a discussion, families coming together to resolve some of these, uh, really bringing some feelings out. And this is kind of the good feels card. This is, um, the six, so um, it usually means there's some motion that has happened um, as part of the resolution. So it looks like there might be a resolve in the near future for this person or for the dynamic that is problematic. The page of pentacles is right above you. Of course, messages again or children. Um, but the pentacles is usually good news. Um, it also stands for intelligence or money coming to you or ambition. Since it is right above this page of swords, yeah, it makes, uh, it's flashing in my head that, that good will come, some good will come out of this tumultuous stuff. Just don't give up, keep going, be diligent. But it's also important, uh, Sagittarius, if it is not your problem directly, you cannot directly solve it. You may uh, provide wisdom, you may provide guidance, help, uh, money, but you cannot resolve it. So it does feel like it's a little bit of a trap for you, that it's something you don't have control of, um, but definitely would like to aid this person in changing those and changing that. So, and it could mean the change has come already. The tower is uh, right here. That's lessons through destruction. So if something is being ignored, please do not ignore it any longer. Um, if it feels funny, it is. It is funny. Trust your judgment. Uh, trust yourself. You know, if your hair goes up on your, your arm, that's kind of spirit telling you that something is funky and something needs to be changed or the truth is not being presented. So this does feel like it has to do with this situation right here, but good news is coming from it um, out of a situation where it looks like either risky, risky behavior or poor choices were kind of the foundation. Looks like the family is coming together or the family of choice is coming together. And it does not feel like it's work related. Um, it does feel like it's interpersonal, uh, friendship, family, something like that. Uh, but uh, make those changes, come together with the people that need to know about this situation and to move forward out of it. There's a lot of feelings happening here. These cups are running over here. So there's a lot of feelings going on. Um, and Sagittarius, I know you have no problem really speaking your truth when you're ready to speak it, but it looks like some of your wisdom is needed right about now, right about now. So what is in the past is the four, 
This is celebration, coming together, jubilation, and it may be stepping out of the problem for you, Sagittarius, getting together with uh, friends and family that is effortless to be around and really enjoying your time because it does look like you've been doing a lot of the hard work. It feels like you've been doing a lot of the hard work for other people and not yourself. So really starting to enjoy yourself, your life, your hobbies, your passions, and not being such a slave to the rhythm of what is called for on the family. But um, it does look like it would be better for you and the family as a whole if you had some separateness from some of these problems that really aren't yours, that were not created by you. And, um, you know, if we clean up other people's messes all the time, um, they came here to learn how to clean it up themselves. At least that is my philosophy as a spiritual creature, as a spiritual being. So we come here to learn how to clean up these things. And if you clean up people's messes, and they make them over and over and over again, it's because they need to learn how to change that tire. They need to learn how to be brave and, you know, get their driver's license or, or whatever it is, whatever it is. So it looks like you're really looking at codependent behavior. Um, that is you being codependent to others, um, and making some changes. It will be, easier for your mental health and your physical health. It does look like it may be creating some um, discord in your body, taking on a lot of these problems that aren't yours. And, you know, our body manifests all that, that stuff that isn't ours and the frustrations. So it could be as simple as a cold. It could be as large as an operation. So please guard your um, health Make some choices for your good health. Let things go that really aren't yours to solve. Um, so, and then, and this is kind of a validation of what I've been, what I was just speaking of. Um, these are cups. This is walking away. This is an eight of cups, but it is walking away from things that dynamics that you have set up that aren't necessarily healthy for you. The um, Looks like you've done a little soul searching. The moon is kind of lighting up in here for, for me. And that's intrinsic stuff. That's really thinking about making some changes, making you a priority and really being honest with yourself and others. Uh, the red here is lighting up on the cape. So some of these things that you're doing for other people are creating resentments in your heart and your soul. And those resentments are the ones that will create dis-ease in your body or illness in your body. So now it's time to walk away from things that you really thought were your responsibility that aren't. Uh, trust and believe that you have taught either your children or uh, your friends or you've given them enough wisdom so they can solve this issue on their own. It's time to walk away and let them fall and pick themselves up or fall again. Whatever it takes whatever it takes for them to learn the lesson and for you not to fix the problem. You know how to deal with this. You are a very capable uh, sign, Sagittarius. You move through mountains, you know, just just give you a challenge and, and you're usually up for it. Uh, but it looks like over the last couple of years, you've been doing other people's challenges and kind of made you a little lost on your own path. So now it's time to get back on your path. Really trust and believe that the people um, that you have mentored and nurtured and helped along the way that have their own tools now and can do it. Even if they fall, they must learn to pick themselves up. So it's time to let go a little bit of that mother goose stuff, Sagittarius, and let people figure out their own way. Um, you have taught them very well. So the three is coming up. This is the basis of this. This is can be a heartache, can be betrayal, can be heart betrayal, can be sex betrayal. It also can mean a great loss of love in your life. So if you have had someone cross over that was very dear, near and dear, could be a parent, could be a child, but someone that uh, lives very solidly in your heart. I'm feeling that this is more... Um, Less betrayal and more heartache over a loss, a heart loss. And it could be a relationship, um, but this is really sitting in this pain and, and feeling it instead of hiding it and covering it up. Um, it's time to walk through it. It's time to walk through it. And it is right on the line of the tower too. So, you know, if it stays in there too long without allowing yourself to feel, you will create it in your body to come out in other ways, which is dis-ease, illness, 
um, negativity. And you've worked so hard, Sagittarius. You've done so many great things for, for others. It's time to put yourself first. The Ace of Wands here is kind of like, ta-da, I am here. And now it's time to put me first. Yes, I realize you're still having that problem, the same one you had 10 years ago, but I'm not going to fix this one. I'm going to Europe or whatever looks good for you. But it's time to make you a priority. Um, that out of control healing stuff, Sagittarius, it is really not beneficial official for you any longer. And it looks like um, you've done your part in many of these situations. You've given uh, people enough information so they can help themselves. And now it's almost becoming habitual for them to come to you instead of really trying to do it for themselves or kind of being the victim. Let them be the victim if that's what they choose to do. You do not have to resolve it for them. I'm giving you total permission to walk away from their victim stuff and to walk into your power, into your highest creative essence. Uh, this Ace of Wands is like uh, motion and energy and projects and doing the things you've always wanted to do. Uh, it does look like as you make these changes, this five is here. There'll be a little bit of a static, you know, when you change the game a little bit and it doesn't benefit the other people so much there's usually a little squawking little balking little little complaining about it but that's all right those are just words just walk right through it um it doesn't have to be yours to solve yet again so it's time to just be um uh, very sturdy in your boundaries here's my boundaries this is yours this is mine i love you i encourage you to walk through it i have every faith in you without owning that problem as your own. Yes, you do know how to fix it. You are so capable, Sagittarius, and you move energy so fast, you know. Um, most people do not. So a little patience, a little guidance uh, for your own heart would be great. The Ace of Wands is something's coming to fruition after many, many years, after you take all this energy out of other people's stuff and really focus on what you want to do, whether it's creating a new home, a new job, um, really putting that time into that hobby, your art, reading a book, whatever you have wanted to do, writing a book, really put that energy into it. Um, and for many of you, it can be beefing up a business. If it is your own business, it looks like really focusing on your own success, whatever that looks like for you. That is what the main focus it looks like for March. You've done a lot of the hard work and you've done a lot of hard work for other people, but now it's time to really look at what's going on and to preserve that energy for your own creations, your own uh, divine passions. Queen of Wands is here. I feel that is you. Um, you know, wands are a fire sign. That's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It also can be a Leo woman that is affecting you. It can be a Leo woman, Leo child, Leo co-worker that is kind of pulling on you. So you may have to have this open, loving communication with this Leo to give them encouragement, to move that energy out. I also feel for many, it does stand for, for you guys, you Sagittarius, is coming into your power, really making yourself a priority and learning how to walk away from some of the darkness that other people have presenting you. It is not yours. You know, being helpful and loving as a parent or being uh, loving as a friend or a partner um, is one thing, but really taking somebody else's problems away from them um, is not helpful or beneficial for you or for them. So that change is already starting to happen. So continue with that change. Continue with making you a priority. A King of Wands is here. That is also fire sign Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So it looks like this is someone who is very loving and mentoring and kind of on your side and kind of holds you up when you feel like falling when you don't feel like you can take it anymore. This looks like a person that is is there for you. And it doesn't have to be a lover. It doesn't have to be a partner. Um, it can be a very, very good friend. Uh, someone who has very clear thinking, very action-oriented, very resolution-oriented. Uh, but it looks like he is on the journey with you, so don't be afraid to lean on him if you're feeling um, a little weak uh, at the moment. So what is in the future is finding your balance, not only between your emotions, but between your needs and others. It also can stand for foreign travel, really looking at the world differently, holding on to the aspects of 
of your personality, your training, and uh, your nurturing that really work for you. Letting go of some of those legacy um, things that were handed to you by your parents. Maybe some of the um, overhelpful-itis was handed to you by your mother or your father. And you're getting clarity that that doesn't really work for the benefit of you or for others. So it looks like you're really finding your balance. It's just stepping into your power a little more and a little more and a little more. Um, putting down the frustration and walking away from the things that people have presented that this is yours to solve when it really isn't. So getting some clarity on what is yours and what isn't is uh, really going to help you to move forward into your power and into your highest creative essence. This Ace of Wands is here. It's like, it's time. It's time to create all those beautiful ideas that have been mulling around in your head. It's time to put some action to them. So let's get some clarity here. Unrequited love. Okay. Is there some long lost love, Sagittarius? Or do you want to rekindle a love that you once had? Trust and faith came out. Well, there it is. I don't even have to <laughs> really go into it. So it's time to make your love and make your relationship a priority instead of cleaning up other people's stuff. Um, take a look at all the I wish I could have and change what you can. Release what you don't have control over anymore and reignite your trust and your faith in yourself. It may be with the divine. For some of you, you may be coming back to spirit and maybe just um, trust and faith in yourself and your own abilities. But either way, hold the passion, hold the vision of your brilliance.